My name is Josh Heinrich and this is a short tutorial on how to create your shared AKO web space. Uh, I'm right here logged in already at my home page, uh, everybody else gets, and uh, what I'm going to do first is go to my workspace. Click on that and you see I've already created a couple examples here but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one and hopefully figure out a way to actually delete it later. Uh, what I do is I go over to this uh, toolbox and create a site. Now there's a couple different things you can actually do here. You can create a brand new site that basically includes everything that just a component is going to have. It gives you a very basic thing here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose site because I, want, I don't want to create any of those smaller components and it gives you the option to choose all that later on. Uh, I'm going to go next. I'm going to couple different things you can do here. You can create a team site or a community site. Team site is meant for basically a platoon size element and that's going to be their only web page. Community site is meant for more large organizations, say a company, maybe a battalion. Uh, I'm going to stick with the team site for right now. Click on next. Uh, basically just follow the wizard here and here's a little introduction. Here's properties. This is actually what you're going to name the site. I suggest that you name it something really exclusive to your organization. I'm going to call this 25 Bravo BNOC uh, example because I am in BNOC and uh, this is an example. What you may want to do is name it 25 BNOC and your class number or your company name or whatever else. Uh, just quick description here, example of a uh, workspace. Sounds good to me. I'll go ahead and add that to my favorites and then click on next. Here's where you actually d do the discoverability, registration, and the membership list. Uh, what discoverability allows you to do is make it viewable to the rest of the army or to the people you so choose. Uh, administration, basically just administrators select who actually registers for the website and all that. And members, you know, being able to view each other. I'm going to go ahead, keep with the defaults, click on next, and add myself as an administrator. Do search, click myself, click that, go OK, and I'm an admin. And what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, sorry jo John Smith, but I'm going to just make up a real quick generic name. And keep in mind this is an actual real name. Gives me a whole bunch of John Smiths. I'm going to go with John Smith 1. Okay, he's a lieutenant colonel. John Smith 1808. <laughs> And uh, basically, I'll just add one more user to my uh, website. His name is going to be John Jones. And that's not, no, no, no. Okay, we'll go with that guy. <laughs> All right, I added those two users to my. Uh, group members. I'm going to click on next. And you may actually want to add in all your classmates. Maybe have a list of their actual AKO login names. And just add them all at the same time. Either that or you can do it later. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this just basically gives you options on uh, what to throw in there. Uh, you can have basically your file options. I'm sorry create a new uh, knowledge center or you can select an existing knowledge center basically something that somebody else has created already I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the defaults on there same thing with it you can choose for the just knowledge center itself to be discoverable or uh, if it's just gonna be restricted and all that other stuff without having to advertise your whole web page uh, Right down here is change approval, just gives the administrator the option to basically uh, okay every change that the user makes or, you know, not let, not have to go through that administrative overhead. I'm going to keep with defaults on that. Uh, 
it's pretty much self-explanatory right there. I'll just click on next. This is just confirmation of everything you want to do with this and this next little thing is your receipt basically explaining what it is. Here's your group po profile, here's your uh, actual web homepage shortcut. I'm gonna head and click copy and uh, eventually throw that back into my uh, favorites there. There we go. Okay. And then down here we go to edit page. 